I am now on my way to Xi'an to see the Terracotta Warriors. I am taking the overnight train. To preserve secrecy, the emperor had every single worker of the mausoleum executed, mostly by burying them alive. The Terracotta Army is a collection of warriors depicting the armies of Qin, the first emperor of China. Its purpose was to protect the emperor in his afterlife. Each face was done individual, not one was alike. They teach them young, and they sure enjoy what they are doing. Each soldier is life-sized and dressed according to rank and unit within the army. Three pits were discovered. Number one shown here is the largest. There are columns of soldiers at the front, followed by war chariots in the back. After the death of Emperor Qin, the peasants broke in and destroyed all of the warriors. Only one was found in one piece. They are being pieced back together one by one by the archaeologists. Many carried spears, bows, and other instruments, which were the actual artifacts. They have disintegrated just like the wagons in the 2,000 years that they were buried. This is the one warrior that was found in one piece. These are still in the process of being put back together, piece by piece, a slow, tedious process. The Terracotta Warriors is a must when visiting China and not to be missed. I would even agree with those that have said that they are the eighth wonder of Now for our tour of Xi'an, the city. The Xi'an city wall, it is one of the most complete walls in China. There's Bruce, my tour guide. The bell tower, the center of the city. This pagoda was built in the Tang Dynasty. The temple was destroyed, only the pagoda remains. Here you can see the moat that surrounds the city wall.
drum tower, 600 years old, the center of the city. Now back to Beijing on the overnight train. Thanks for joining me on my tour of Xi'an and the Terracotta Warriors. And for more must-see destinations, please subscribe.